Hey, this is Lawrence Tam. But before we start, I, I always want to do something like this. This is Lawrence. <laughs> this is crazy. Sorry, <laughs> I'm a little. Uh, uh, that was just like the whole Doctor Evil. But I'm not a doctor. I don't even have a cat. Like I guess I could have my dog and kind of spun around. But sorry, I wanted to. Uh, that's what we call a pattern interrupt. And pattern interrupt is when you're expecting to see something. And something totally else happens, like like just totally throws you off. So uh, excuse the the Mickey Mouse in the background. My 18 year old son, he's um he's in a make Mickey phase. He's like Mick, Mick. I'm like okay, cool. I get. It. I don't have an office. I was kicked out of it when I had my third kid. But I'm gonna give you some ridiculous training today, if you pay attention. If you pay attention. Now, my name is Lawrence Tam. I'm a retired engineer. I physically do internet marketing full time. I love Jesus. I have three kids. Married my high school sweetheart. I'm going to be showing you a cool trick you can implement right now, and you're probably losing a ton of money, a ton of leads, and a ton of traffic by not implementing this. Now, before I go into that, there are some pretty cool people on my on my panel right here. We have Brian Couch, who is a high-end SEO guy. Jay from Florida, who is a ridiculously good network marketer. Uh, Miguel, I, I, he does not. I think he's in South America somewhere. He's really good with paid traffic, and his videos are top-notch. And Ted, my man from San Antonio, heart as big as Texas. Look, how do you get on? How do you get on this panel? How do you get on a panel with someone like myself? Who's okay? In disclaimer, I have to say this before. I don't know what you're capable of doing. My goal is to help you, teach you what I'm doing. But look, I've made over a million dollars in less than two years, well, 16 months, and I did it part time, doing kind of like small little things, and I collected all of it and I busted out. So I want to show you how I do this with small little tips and tricks you can implement right now if you take massive action. Okay, so let's get on with the training, right? Here's the question. Here's the question. 95% of the people I market with generally have some type of website, right? If not, they have Facebook. But let's say you have a website. Okay, I'm talking to you specifically. You have a website. Okay, you have a website. What happens if someone goes to your website and types like a wrong part of your website? So let me let me share my screen so you can kind of see this. And if the uh, of those in the panel, uh, Jay or Brian, if you can see my screen, give me a thumbs up. I know it usually takes about 10 seconds. Jay's got it. All right, Brian. Okay, so the example is this. G generally, when you type in someone's website, and I, I went through this many times on the phone, what happens is someone will go, Lawrence, what's your blog? I'll go lawrencetam.net, and then you come to my blog. Cool. Okay. What if they wanted to go to a specific page on my blog, right? Let, let's say it's um, uh, let's say it's this page, 10 day video. Okay, so let's say it's this one. Let's say it's this page right here. It might be a little small, but it's what we call a permalink or the physical address, right? It's kind of like saying, Lawrence, where do you live? I live in Sugarland, Texas. But if you just told someone I live in Texas, it's not specific enough where you are so they can find you and send you a Christmas gift. This link up here is a very specific web address that someone can find. So if I want to tell someone on the phone, hey, I want to show you my video 1 of 10 in my marketing strategy, you need to go to www.lawrencetam.net slash video dash 1 dash of dash 10 dash start dash marketing dash any dash time. If you did that on the phone, what are the chances someone types that in perfectly? Mm, I would say 10%. And if they did, it's probably because you told them like a hundred times. No, it's it's one, like the number one. No, it's ten, like the number ten. No, it's a dash, the horizontal, not the not the slash one. You, you see what I'm saying? So, how do you get someone to get to a place? But you know what? A lot of times people will go to your website and type something in wrong. Where do they normally go? What happens when someone types in something wrong? So here's an example. Let's say Aweber. Let's say Aweber is one of your your places. And if someone was on the Aweber and just were to just go Aweber.com and just a bunch of just random letters, where do you think that's my son yelling at me? Where do you think they'll go on Aweber? If I hit enter, 
it goes to a, a generally in the internet term it's called a oh no or a 404 page okay it'll go oh no the page you're looking for doesn't exist because obviously that exact address does not exist so Aweber and WordPress and most websites when you go to a page like that let's say you typed it in just one word different one letter one hyphen just wrong one space it goes to a page called a 404 now Aweber does this by sending you directly to this I mean you could type anything you want and it doesn't matter hello my name it's always gonna come back to this 404 page let's see how other companies do it for a blog for a get response if you type it in it goes this is this is somewhat embarrassing isn't it so what they do is they do a search field they're like well maybe you're trying to search for something specific that we that you heard and you just didn't type in the right address they're trying to force you back in force you back in now what's cool is they have an opt-in on the side opt-in on the side which is good and they have some recent posts and I saw this I'm like that's pretty cool how do you customize a 404 page interesting so that got me thinking right here's another one Infusionsoft giant CRM database mailer blah 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 theirs they don't even have an opt-in and they don't have other blog posts that you can go to so they're not recapturing traffic instead they go inconceivable the page you're accessing has disappeared into the like they're basically trying to be funny and they're trying to get you back to searching how about Apple you type in Apple it goes hmm the page you're looking for can't be found but here's a whole bunch of stuff because they assume you're looking for a nano or iPad 2 or whatever now what if you just go to Google Google's 404 page goes ah, that's an error and then it goes that's all I know <laughs> that you typed in something that just doesn't work now I've been doing something for years and I'm going to change that very very soon and I'm testing if you go to my blog post my blog at lawrencetam.net it goes to my top end blog post but what if you just type in some mumbo jumbo where do you think it goes where do you think it goes it actually goes back to the top level domain so my thinking was if they're coming there they're probably coming for a specific dress but if anything I probably want them if I don't want to lose them I'm gonna send them back to the top level most recent thing that I've done hence why a blog post is so powerful okay and I also have an opt-in on the side and I have content here right what is a better way to do a 404 page I'm like why don't we just customize it so I'm throwing some traffic at my at my high-end traffic site this is a standard capture page on my on my traffic site okay now but what if I were to type in a bunch of mumbo-jumbo now one thing I can do is if I'm doing paid traffic if it if for whatever reason like the vendor types my permalink wrong like the physical link wrong or maybe I submitted it wrong you don't want it to go to a 404 page I'm gonna repeat that again if you're doing paid traffic and you give it to a vendor or you put it to Facebook whatever and it, it's a broken link you don't ever want to send it to a oh oops it's broken you're sending traffic and that traffic could cost you two bucks a click right so this one I go okay I don't want to just send it to my top level because this isn't a blog this is just a straight capture page so I go problem I want to be able to send traffic and if it's a broken page for whatever reason I need to go back to another capture page but what if I can do a creative way of doing a capture page that is a pattern interrupt remember I referenced pattern interrupt a pattern interrupt take a guess of what happens when I hit enter one two three interesting it's a custom 404 page now this is a capture page system like there's no blog on 33 retire.com so I couldn't send them to another blog so here's what I did I got an image that said page not found 404 holy smokes unfortunately the information looking for is unavailable but wait in blue I'm like wait, wait, wait. I'm recapturing the traffic don't leave empty-handed here are some top trainings for you for free how to build a thriving Facebook community selling anything so if they click this it goes to if you, if you had to take a guess it goes to another capture page <laughs> okay 
If they click this, if you had to take a guess, it goes to a captured page. Different training. If they click this, what do you think it goes? Capture page. Like, these three are going to capture pages, and then, oh, wait a minute, a bigger one where I'm really focusing on is 10-day video marketing series that shows my seven-figure internet business. Click this. It's an opt-in box. Now, what if they want to close it? They're like, this is not the page I wanted. What happens is I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure I recapture that traffic. Whatever I need to do to recapture that traffic. If you're not doing that, here's an easy test. Just go to your blog, whatever it is, and type in blah, 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 blah. Hit enter. Does it go back to your normal page? Does it go to a capture page? Are you really focused on getting people back to your core, to your core message, or are you just sending them to a brick wall? Right? So if you want to learn how I'm doing this, by all means, connect with us. Connect with one of my teams. I'm going to have a link below that shows you a tool that did it like that. Completely super easy. No HTML stuff. Completely easy. Anyone, even your grandma can do this. Because if your grandma has a knitting page and there's a broken link, instead of sending to a broken link, why don't you just forward them to like your most famous blog post? Like, Here's an example. What if I started sending people to my, my income page? I'm showing people like, here's my results page. I could show them this versus a broken 404 page. So there will be information down below. You can click it. This is, this is a product you can purchase, but this is a product that I believe if you're not capturing traffic and, and the traffic is just going to a brick wall, number one, that traffic is no longer traffic. It goes to a dead end. Number two, opportunity from turn that traffic into a lead, if your leads are worth, say, $10 a lead, you just lost 10 bucks. And three, no buyers can buy anything at a dead-end brick wall. And if you're, let's say your, uh, your earnings per customer is, say, two to 300 bucks per customer, you basically just threw $300 out the window and just burned it. So I highly recommend for this holiday season in 2013 to build a 404 capture page or 404 landing page that redirects traffic going to broken sites to make you more money and uh, you can maybe even afford a Vitamix that you know blends up green goodies for you, right? So whatever, whatever floats your boat, I would rather you keep the money than throw it away and just at some broken wall. So my name is Lawrence Tam. I appreciate you guys. Stay warm and Merry Christmas.